Okay, so today we're going to take a short flight uh, using uh, Orbix scenery uh, from Den Helder to Leuwarden. And we're going to fly with the Authenticit home cockpit solution, the DR400 starter kit. So let us set ourselves in the uh, on the apron. And I'll just run you through what we have here. Uh, we've got our flight stick, uh, throttle, throttle knob, you see there we're not, uh, not going forward because we've got the wheel brakes on. And we have the VOR over here and frequency shift and then over here we've got the OBS settings. I've also got my little clip maker device which uh, has allowed me to make a couple of notes about the the route that I'm going to use. I'm going to fly on a, I'm um, going to use the VOR and take a short crossing over the water, head due east over the water and join a 30 degree radial heading up to Leuwarden. The, um, oh the trim as well, I don't know if the trim is too visible here. Um, incidentally this trim, I'll just remove it because the nice thing about all this Authenticate stuff is that it's it's all swappable. Um, this actually isn't the trim for the DR400. I've not finished making it yet. This is for the Turbo Arrow, um, but it uh, it works fine. So okay, let's head off. Let's get ourselves to the runway. So apply a, a little bit of throttle. We'll have to put the wheel brakes in. There's no toe brakes on the DR400, so we need this wheel brake, this wheel brake handle. So as I say, I'm going to head off, It's I think it's runway 06, can't quite remember, um, and then head due east, get straight across the water, uh, and, then I'll, um, and then I'll set the VOR, I don't think I'll bother doing it just now. Okay, we'll just gently ease ourselves up to the threshold line here. Did I say it was 06? 03. Okay. Right, pull the wheel brake on and let's put a little power in. Happy with that? A bit more power. Release the wheel brake. Full power. And then I think I can probably rotate it around 80. Yeah. It's the R400 like, likes to climb, so I think I will put a little elevator trim in there. bearing of 090 okay and we're back there's a little more going on now See, I, can, I crossed the open water there on a rather low altitude. But anyway, let's not worry about that. We'll get a little bit of height, a bit of height. But what I will also do now is let's get our bearings for this runway at Leuvarden. Now, we're going to come in on a VOR radial of 30 degrees. And the VOR is 114.7. So 
So let's go over to the BOR. 114, we're on 114 already on the major. Yeah, you can see that. And let's go up to 0.7 on the minor. And then hit the frequency shift and you can see it kick in on the VOR. And now let's set the OBS. We want to come in on a radial of 30 degrees. So we are, yeah, we're a little bit over now. So I think what I will do, I will, we're heading at 60 degrees right now. Swing it round a bit. And I think we'll put it a little bit overcompensate until we get ourselves on the radial. About 340 perhaps. I'm fairly sure it's a little bit east of Voivarden where we're headed. A little bit more trim. Still climbing quite well. And I don't think we're that far away. There's no DME on the DR400, so I don't know quite how far it is, but I think it's just a little bit east of Voivarden, uh, the city over there. turbines or oh, more of them they are a bit high really for this landing but I think we can afford to drop it at a good old rate gotta take the power right off there now, I forgot to mention the flaps. Um, I, uh, I haven't put the flap lever in yet. That is, um, in fact, that was made for the turbo arrow, and it's pretty similar, but I'm just going to do a few adjustments before I fit the fl flap lever to this. trim up a little. Would have been nice to put some flaps in now actually. It's a little high looking at the glide slope. I think this landing, landing will be respectable. Out with the throttle and... Not, not exactly straight down the centre line. A bit. This will do. Let's put the brakes on, throttle, and there you have it.